Hey there, Navy Doc 5184 here, and welcome to my reaction of Star Wars The Clone Wars. We're starting with season one, episode one, Ambush. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you um, enjoy it. And if you do, feel free to subscribe to the channel to check out more of my Star Wars reactions and any other reactions I do. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I am glad you are all here. So Basically, the main reason I'm getting into this is A, I've been curious to watch this series anyways, but B is because I did my reaction to Star Wars Ahsoka, and actually I would say even the Tales of the Jedi uh, series was really a big catalyst for me to really want to watch this too, because originally when it came to the Clone Wars, I was a little worried about how it was going to work, considering that there had already been established stories, established characters. So I'm like, how do you add characters and add other storylines to something that's already established? But when watching Ahsoka, it's to me, it's like, I guess in a way, validation. It's like they were able to make it work to where it didn't feel like they really strayed too much of the existing story already and was able to really add more story to it. You know, especially when it came to the Mortis Gods. I know I haven't seen any episodes regarding that, but I know enough about them to kind of understand what they were. I think that was a more sort of story in Rebels. That I think it was in Clone Wars too. I'd have to double check. I've heard that there was some stories about the Mortis Gods in uh, Clone Wars. But, and on top of that, I have seen a few episodes of the Clone Wars and I did enjoy what I watched, you know, and it was nice to see that it didn't really feel like they just added a bunch of stuff that really made no sense to the story. They did it to where they're still able to keep this story that was already established intact and still successfully craft other stories to go into it. So now I'm really going to go into this. Uh, we're going to go a season at a time. So I'll do season one, probably take a small break from the Clone Wars and then go into season two. Um, but I do also intend to watch Star Wars Rebels because just like the Clone Wars, I've seen a few episodes of Rebels but not the whole thing, just kind of like enough to where I have somewhat of an idea so I wasn't completely lost when it came to Ahsoka and other things, but really looking forward to getting started with this. So we will go ahead and get started. Um, Clone Wars is available on Disney Plus, and if you'd like to see my full length reaction to this, I will do this in a watch along format on my Patreon channel. You just have to have Disney Plus yourself and uh, be able to stream it along with me. I'll have a timer on the screen so you can keep track of where I am in the show so we can watch it all together. And let's go ahead and get started. Greetings, King Katunko. My master wishes to speak with you. Looks familiar. Katunko. Dooku, of course. How can the Jedi protect you if they cannot protect themselves? <sighs> That's ominous. This can't be... What's going on here? General, the Toydarian's beacon is active on the moon, but all our transmissions are being jammed. Uh-oh. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's dirty. That is dirty. Our droid armies outnumber the Republic clones a hundred to one. But that's so. But I have heard that a single Jedi equals a hundred battle droids. Uh, depends on who the Jedi is. Yoda, I think, easily fits that. But entering another trap, we are. Are you sure? A disturbance in the Force, there is. Hey, if Yoda says you're falling into another trap, you're falling into another trap. Master Yoda would like to talk with you, sir. Master Yoda of the Jedi Council, this is. I thought perhaps Count Dooku had frightened you off. Delayed have I been, but not too far away am I now. Allow me to send my best troops to capture him. Good Please luck. Troops, join the Republic. But should my droids defeat Yoda, consider an alliance with the Separatists. Accept the challenge, I do, your highness. Arrive by nightfall, I will. They're done. <laughs> Master Yoda must be given a fair fight. My dear King Katunko, I would have it no other way. Uh-huh. Yeah, we'll see about that. Fair or not, though, I will gladly trust Yoda over 
Battle droids. There's gonna be a full battalion in there. It's fine. You'll be all right. We'll have something for him. Oh, okay. Oh, I like this guy. <laughs> Find Master Yoda. Uh, what does he look like? Oh my god. Are you serious? Wow. Y'all, it's gonna take me a minute to get over that one. Wow. <laughs> what is... Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness. How are droids this stupid? Size is not everything. Mm -hmm. Smaller in number are we, but larger in mind. <laughs> Do uh, you have any idea what the general is talking about? How should I know? Don't worry, you're not alone in your confusion sometimes when hearing him speak. All right. Um. Look, little green life form. You fucking head. That's the Jedi. Oh my god. Oh. How are they this stupid? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This episode's making me wonder how the Separatists made as much of fight as they did if the droids are that stupid. Woo! Woo! Hey, get off of me! Are you? <laughs> the Jedi destroyed our advanced troops. And she does not look pleased. Seriously, how are they missing when they're that close? Uh-oh. Uh, oh, there we go. I was just about to say, Yoda, any time now. What are we going to do, sir? Rely on the force. Hey, what's going on? There we go. No, yep, there we go. That's what I thought he was gonna do. Beautiful. <laughs> no, you're not. You're just being controlled by Yoda. I'm on your side. <laughs> Yoda by himself took them all out. Left behind. No one will be. Master Yoda, I hear you're having trouble with the droid army. Trouble? I know nothing of this trouble. Look forward to our meeting soon, I do. The Jedi won't elude me for long. There's not much to look at here, sir. We all share the same face. Deceive you, eyes care. In the Force, very different each one of you are. Reese, always focused on the enemy, are you? For inspiration, look to yourself and those beside you. Check. Concerned about weapons you are. Weapons do not win battles. Your mind, powerful it is. Mm. Outthink the droids. You can. Thire, rush not into fights. Long is the war. Only by surviving it will you prevail. Yes. Leave it to Yoda to take time to... Try to give some inspiration to the clones, dude. It's the Jedi. Block his escape. Okay. Prepare to fire. What's... Okay, Yoda, what's your plan? Fire! Okay. Okay. Oh. No, he's gone into the tank. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That whole sequence was beautiful. <laughs> That's a lot of smoke for a surrender. Ooh, he is not happy. What's she is on? not happy. Two, two, four, come in. Where is Choo Choo Four? Destroyed, Supreme Leader. The Jedi has overrun our position and get <laughs> Oh man, this is beautiful. Nice! 
eyes. Yeah. yeah, great shot, sir. One Jedi is not worth a hundred battle droids. More like a thousand. I will not deal with those who break their words. So be it. Oh boy. Perhaps our negotiations will be more fruitful with your successor. Should have known better. Oh! I am very pleased to meet you at last. And considering that he just saved your life. I don't fear you, Jedi. Strong you are with the dark side, young one. But not that strong. That quote sounded very familiar. Strong you are with the Force, but not that strong. My people are at your service. Nice. Well done, Yoda. Yoda with three clone troopers, man, do all that. That's why he is him. Yoda is him. All right. All right, that was Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 1, Episode 1, Ambush, and man, oh man, if that gives me any indication of what this show is going to be like, this is, pro I'm already understanding why so many people love this series. That really set a nice tone. Like, the action was great. I love the humor they threw in there. I can't believe those battle droids are that stupid. Oh my lord. But at the same, but again, and I know like Ventress, I'd seen like I, I would say memes. I don't exactly know. I know I've seen many photos and videos. I haven't really fully watched, so I didn't really understand what she was. But then like right when I heard the name at the end, it's like everything kind of clicked because I remember hearing that name before, and I think it was actually in Ahsoka I heard that because I think in um, Anakin's hologram recording to Ahsoka, he had mentioned. Uh, Ventress in there so now it's nice to really see who she is I'm very curious to see what role she plays in this whole thing um, the whole apprentice thing there you know kind of goes against the whole Sith rule of two because we know that Dooku is um, Palpatine's apprentice so what maybe that's just the terminology used but then again uh, we all know that Anakin himself has an apprentice in here, so again, maybe it's something that will get explained more as the series goes on. Like, I wouldn't say the questions I have right now are questions that can't be answered or really in the end are even that important. But it is kind of cool, um, again, seeing the series there, I already forgot what their name is, but, uh, you know, Watu from the first two movies, you know, who is Anakin and Shmi's owner. Um, you know, when they were slaves, you know, it was kind of cool seeing their race, you know, the moon that they were on, you know, it was really kind of cool seeing that. And I think that's something I'm actually more excited. Um, like even a Greedo, you know, in the preview there, in the little clips, they're showing like his race. So it, I think that's the other thing that's kind of cool is we get to see the other races um, in this show, which might give us an idea of you know, because like with Greedo, we just saw him, you know, briefly in The Phantom Menace, but then in um, A New Hope when he was a bounty hunter, you know, so you kind of get this idea, like maybe that's what his people are like, but they're talking about, you know, peaceful, neutral planets. And it's like, maybe he just went astray in a way. But then again, if he was on Tatooine, he was most likely a slave. So, okay, yeah, that makes sense that he would probably go astray you know, and go on a path different than what his people are like. But it's really, it's exciting the possibility to see all of this. And man, oh man, this is gonna be a fun journey. This is gonna be a fun journey. I really enjoyed that episode. Really looking forward to getting to episode two. So we will be getting to that uh, not too long after. But uh, you know, in the meantime, feel free to check out some of my other Star Wars reactions. Uh, I've got Ahsoka and some other scenes I've seen on there, but um, thanks for stopping by and I will catch you for the next episode.